What's going on everybody? Welcome to another OpenCV with Python tutorial video. Where we left off, we were filtering for a specific color. You can imagine there's a lot of different filters that you might apply. It may not even be for a specific color uh, where you apply the filter, but you still have a lot of background noise. And later on when we do like foreground extraction or background extraction, uh, the same thing happens. You wind up still with a little bit of noise around. Just things are moving or whatever, or falsely detected and so on. So you need to have some way to be able to remove noise. So first we'll be talking about really simplistic ways like smoothing and blurring to get rid of noise. And then we'll continue talking about in the subsequent tutorial how to even further get rid of noise and different types of noise. So, um, so anyways, let's go ahead and get started. Let me grab my hat again. And um, so right now we have uh, the following. We've got uh, just the... the the regular frame, the mask, and the resolution. We don't really, or the re result. Uh, we don't need to, we could probably keep mask just because it's easy to see the background stuff actually, but um, we'll probably just keep doing the, the result instead and we'll stop displaying mask. But anyway, that's what we're dealing with so far. So uh, let's say you wanna just apply like a really simple blur basically and that's you can basically do this with averaging the pixels so um i said we'd stop we'll stop displaying mass just because we got so many things we're displaying feel free to like only display frame or only display display the one thing we're working on like if you're having trouble with lag or something like that so uh to do averaging it's relatively simple we're going to make a kernel and the kernel will be numpy ones just a list of ones Basically, 15 by 15, data type NumPy, float 32, and it's going to be, so it's 15 by 15, and then we divide it by whatever this number times this number is. In our case, 15 times 15 is 225. So that'll make an average of 15 by 15 pixels. Okay, you could go smaller, you could say a 5 by 5, and that would be 25. Okay, so that's your kernel. And then we apply that kernel uh, by saying smooth equals uh, cv2.filter2d. And then we're going to say res negative one in kernel. Okay. So this will just apply like a simple average basically of uh, our frame. Oh, we need to display it. <laughs> Almost made the same mistake as before. Okay, so paste, paste, good to go. All right, so we actually, I mean, with this, we basically have no background noise, but I see a few little specks back there, um, but obviously it gets rid of a lot, but we also lose a lot of clarity, so that's kind of a bummer. So we close this, and we, we decide, eh, that's not really the best, <laughs> right? And that's okay. So um, now we're going to talk about another form, and that will be a Gaussian blur. So um, we'll just do it right underneath here. And we're going to say blur, blurt. <laughs> blur is equal to cv2.gaussian blur. We're going to apply it to that result. This two will be a 15 by 15 and then zero. Uh, and then we need to show it. So let's copy that, paste, and blur, and blur. Run that. And um, it, even though it's like the same kind of size, uh, you should see that this one's a lot clearer, more clear than the other blur or average basically was. So there's that option. Um, my favorite though for clarity is what's called this median blur. So median will be equal to cv2.median blur. And we apply this to the result and it's a 15 of size. So then we're going to call this paste median median uh, run that and at least here especially at a distance like if you back up and this thing is small like smaller on the frame you should notice that it, it almost like we can make it disappear <laughs> and and I guess I mean that's just what's happening I suppose as you move it back it just doesn't want to show up, I guess. It's like falling out of the range that I specified, probably. Um, but if we hold it like nice and close, uh, this one is 
the best. As far as internal noise is concerned, there's really no noise happening, whereas there's a lot of noise happening over there, and it's, of course, being returned in that blur. But I happen to like this one the best, just simply because it's the least noisy. Um, so anyway, uh, there's that. And then finally, there is a bilateral blur. Uh, it's just another version of blurring. So bilateral equals cv2 dot bilateral uh, filter. Apply it to the res 15. Then we'll choose a 75 by 75. And then C, oh, we'll call it cv2 m show down here just for the different versions of uh, blurs. Okay, so in my opinion, the bilateral blur really is pretty much useless. It got rid of a little bit of noise, but not really. So, okay, so anyways, those are the various blurs that you have, and I suppose a smooth, that you have at your disposal, but a lot of times that's just simply not gonna be enough. So in the next tutorial, what we're gonna be talking about is morphological transformations, and what that's gonna allow us to do is, is remove noise and bit better of a method. So um, anyway, that's what we're going to be covering in this tutorial. If you have questions, comments, concerns, or whatever up to this point, uh, feel free to let me know below. Otherwise, as always, thanks for watching. Thanks for all the support subscriptions. And until next time.